Josh Beckenstein came to Yale in 1976 and spent four years as a member of the men's lacrosse team. The lessons learned from his athletic participation became a foundation for his future success. Team sports and athletics in general is a great lesson for life. It teaches so much about how, how to be successful later in life. One is the team. Being on a team really teaches you to work with others, to know that the greater good is from everyone playing their role, uh, that you have to be a great teammate. And I also think varsity sports uh, teaches you about working hard. And so learning the idea of working hard in a team environment is something that's incredibly important um, for being successful for the rest of your life. But it was the caliber of the people he met, both on the lacrosse field and off, that would make a lasting impact on his life after graduation as he settled in Boston. My greatest memory of Yale was just all the friends and, and folks I met there. I, I thought it was just really fantastic what a terrific group of people there were at Yale. And, I had lots of role models at Yale and people I admired and so trying to see if I could find a way to be with excellent people and smart people and nice people the rest of my life is something that uh, I really uh, came home from uh, four years at Yale. However, Beckenstein would say it is not only people that help to ensure personal and professional success. You know, I always tell people that uh, life is a combination of luck and skill and if you can have both, that's good and if you can only have one, you should go with luck. Uh, and so luck uh, definitely helped me with my career path. I, I worked at Bain and Company uh, coming out of college, coming from Yale. And then from working at Bain and Company, uh, I met my partners who we started Bain Capital together with. And so uh, it was uh, lucky that I found a great firm at Bain and Company to work at. And then from there, I found some great partners to start Bain Capital with. Bain Capital has grown to more than 900 people and has made private equity investments and add-ons in more than 350 companies across a variety of industries and has approximately $80 billion in assets under management. This incredible financial success has made Beckenstein and Bain Capital hallmarks of Boston philanthropy. But it is not the financial and philanthropic success of the company that Beckenstein holds most dear. I've been at Bain Capital 31 years. Uh, we've developed a lot of fantastic people and we have over 900 people around the world and they're terrific people. They're really smart professionally, uh, but they're uh, really great uh, from the standpoint of good citizens and people who care a lot about their communities. And uh, being able to be part of, of building a great team and, and being part of a team that cares a lot about more than just being successful in business is something I'm really proud of. Of all of the members of Beckenstein's team, Six are particularly important. Uh, I think I've been most fortunate to have a wonderful family. Um, my wife Anita has been a part of my life uh, now for uh, over 30 years. We just celebrated our 30th anniversary and uh, we have five wonderful kids and having uh, a supportive partner in life and five kids that I could uh, always stay grounded by having uh, them and knowing that they were always the most important thing to Anita and I has probably been the the best part for my professional career as well. Mark Edwards, the co-founder of Upstream, has served on a number of charitable boards with Beckenstein. I think another thing about Josh, which is um, uh, so appealing and candidly has made a big influence on my life, is how he engages his entire family in the work that he does. Um, you know, all of his kids have, in their own ways, been engaged in the kinds of things that um, he has spotted that he knows are making a real difference in people's lives. It really shows you just how authentic his um, beliefs are about how he can make a difference in the world. And so it's just so fun now having seen his kids grow up to see how they're all in their own individual ways very engaged and in, in really making the world a better place. With his family's unwavering support, Beckenstein serves on the board of multiple companies, including Michael's Stores, Toys R Us, and Tom's, all while chairing the board of the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. It's a different city because of the role that Josh has played. I think because of the level of his support and engagement, um, he's really changed the way philanthropists in this city think about um, supporting nonprofits and being engaged with nonprofits. Uh, there are many people in the city who really look to him for uh, leadership for uh, the kind of work that he does with nonprofits. In addition, his philanthropy has extended to his alma mater. Beckenstein serves as a member of the Yale Corporation, was co chair of the Yale Tomorrow campaign, and is an at large member of the University Council. 
It is his love for Yale and his belief that his college experience remains a critical part of his success that makes Josh Beckenstein a distinguished recipient of the George H.W. Bush Lifetime of Leadership Award. And my experiences at Yale were incredibly valuable to my career because first doing consulting is learning lots of different businesses and again the Yale experience was great uh, because I think anyone who has the opportunity to get a liberal arts degree is really blessed because you learn about so many different things and you know you never know the rest of your life what you're going to have to take on uh, but if you know how to learn and you know how to think then you can take those challenges on and you have the greatest chance of success later on.